George Washington Carver George Washington Carver is possibly the most famous agricultural scientist of all time. He invented hundreds of products that could be made from crops such as peanuts and sweet potatoes, and he changed the methods of farming in the southern United States. The story of George Washington Carver's life is interesting and inspiring, as it shows how some people can achieve success despite adversity. George Washington Carver was born in a small town in the American state of Missouri in 1864 or 1865. He was named after the first president of the United States. George's parents were slaves. His father was killed in an accident, and his mother was kidnapped and later died. George and his brother were raised by a married couple, the Carvers, who had owned George's mother. George was often sick during his childhood, but he showed an intense interest in nature. The Carvers taught George to read and write, and he became known locally as an expert on plants. Later, the Carver sent George to a school for African-American children in a nearby town. After his graduation, George Washington Carver continued his education in the state of Iowa. While a student in Iowa, Carver had very little money and had to work at many jobs to afford the costs of his education. However, his knowledge of plants was very impressive. And after receiving his master's degree, he became a teacher at the college he had attended as a student. Soon, however, Carver moved south to the state of Alabama, where he worked as a teacher and researcher at a college for African American students. It was here that Carver stayed for the rest of his life, and it was here that he performed his important agricultural research. One problem for farmers in the southern United States was that the most widespread crops, cotton and tobacco, tended to remove nutrients from the soil. Carver realized that this problem could be solved to some extent by rotating the cotton and tobacco crops with other kinds of crops, such as peanuts and sweet potatoes, which could help to preserve the nutrients in the soil. Carver's discoveries made the peanut, the sweet potato, and the soybean very useful to southern farmers. He invented the food product known as peanut butter, plus hundreds of other products. For example, Carver found ways to produce plastics, ink, cooking oil, paints, and cosmetics from peanuts and other crops. Carver also developed a new variety of cotton. Carver received many awards for his scientific research, but he was never interested in fame or fortune. When Carver died in 1943, the American government made his birthplace a national monument. Today, Carver is still known as a great agricultural scientist. The Earth Revolves Around the Sun one year is the time required for the Earth to travel around the Sun. For most of history, however, people did not know that the Earth moved around the Sun. Instead, people believed that the Sun moved around the Earth. The old idea that the Sun moved around the Earth is known as the geocentric theory. This idea was first made famous by an ancient Greek scientist, Ptolemy who lived in Egypt nearly 2,000 years ago. Some other Greek philosophers had suggested instead that the Earth might travel around the Sun. However, this idea, which is known as the heliocentric theory, was not widely accepted. For centuries, people in Europe did not seriously question Ptolemy's geocentric theory. During the early 15th century, however, a Polish astronomer named Nicholas Copernicus began to think that the heliocentric idea was right and that the geocentric idea was wrong. Shortly before his death, Copernicus wrote a book that described the mathematical details of his theory that the Earth revolved or traveled around the Sun. Later, astronomers came to agree with Copernicus's view. 
One of the most famous of these was Galileo, an Italian scientist. Galileo is famous for demonstrating that light and heavy objects fall at exactly the same speed unless an object is so light that it is slowed by the air. Galileo was also the first astronomer to use a powerful telescope to observe the sky. He discovered many unknown features of the moon, the sun, and the planets. When Galileo announced that he believed in Copernicus's theory that the earth revolved around the sun, some officials of the Roman Catholic Church were angry. They argued that this theory was against the beliefs of the church. Some church officials disagreed with his view, but the authorities decided that Galileo should be punished by house arrest. In other words, Galileo was not allowed to leave his house. Also, Galileo was forced to make a public statement that renounced his belief in the heliocentric theory. At about the same time that Galileo supported the heliocentric idea, another astronomer did some important work that supported Copernicus's view. This astronomer was Johannes Kepler, who lived in Germany. Kepler used the observations of previous scientists to figure out the motion of the planets around the Sun. He realized that the planets did not travel in circular paths, but instead in paths that were elliptical or oval in shape. Kepler's discoveries showed mathematically how the planets would revolve around the Sun. Today, everyone knows that the Earth moves around the Sun, but for a long time it seemed more reasonable to believe that the Sun moved around the Earth. We can thank the great scientists of the past who discovered the surprising truth.